Hey, how you doing? Austin here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ethereum. I'm going to give you kind of a latest and greatest of what's going on with ETH. You guys know I'm a huge fan. I, uh, I own Ethereum. It is absolutely one of my largest holdings. Actually, it is my largest holdings. Uh, and I firmly believe that we have some fantastic uh, price points coming at us. We're going to talk about that in this video. We're going to talk about everything. Uh, as always, this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you're new to me, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Greatly appreciate it. Um, as always, um, I just really want to bring you this content so that you guys kind of know what everything is going on. Help you navigate these Ethereum waters. We're going to talk about all the stuff going on with ETH and uh and, and just have an overall dialogue okay uh, let me see i want to ask you something what is okay here you go um iphone versus android i like to ask random things for you guys to comment on because i love to have interaction with you guys so are you an iphone person or are you an android person i personally am an iphone guy i'm a i'm a mac guy i've been a mac forever i use uh i record on macs i have mac computers iPhones, et cetera. Never really got into the iPad though. So there you go. All right, there you go. iPhone versus uh, Android. There's your survey question of the day. All right, so Ethereum is doing good and we're gonna talk about that just in a minute. I gotta make you guys aware. I have my Patreon, links are in the description, top pinned comment below. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I say this without any without any ego, without any, without any kind of, I'm not boasting in this comment content. Um, I definitely want to help you and I definitely can. Okay. So you have direct access to me at my inner circle level. Uh, you also help, I can help you with your portfolio. You can come over and tell me what you have. I can give you guidance on what you should or shouldn't be in and things like that. You also see the inner circle portfolio. This is a portfolio that I've built just for my inner circle members. You can see everything that I'm buying, holding when I sell, if I sell that kind of stuff. I give you buy and sell trade alerts as well as hot crypto alerts weekly. There's something I see going on in the market with a hot crypto or something like that. I'm going to make you guys aware of it and everything around that. Also, I have a Discord that is in both levels so you get access to the community and that community is pretty amazing. A lot of support. We got some really, really good crypto pickers over in the community as well. People are dropping in hot, hot alerts and things like that that are just coming from the community. So you're getting a lot of value and bang for your buck. You can join and cancel anytime. By the way, at $20, come on, that's less than you probably spend for coffee. You know, if you go out, if you're a Starbucks, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy. Um, I love their coffee. So yeah, just check it out. I mean, again, you can join and cancel at any time. All right, here we go. So Ethereum, <clears throat> Ethereum had a massive run up, right? We had the London hard fork happening with that EIP 155 no going into effect. That went well. Everything's good. This is moving Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. You can hear one of the dogs out there. Uh, there they are. Uh, there's oh somebody's. There's literally people walking by. So this is live. I'm not going to edit this out. They if somebody walked by the house, the dogs bark. They consider themselves the pit bull, and they're both little Australian shepherds. Okay, <laughs> so we had everything going on with EIP-1559 that went well. Uh, there's also a lot more coming, right? We have another big EIP uh, implementation uh, in uh, December is, what there is, the, is where they're calling it now. Uh, or it has been on the, it's what's on the books. It'll probably move a little bit. It does tend to move a little bit. But that next EIP uh, implementation, in, in, um, EIP stands for Ethereum Improvement Pro, Pro, Protocol Proposal. I always get them wrong. Ethereum Improvement Proposal. There you go. Okay. Um, in December, it's going to be a pretty big deal because it's going to continue to um, ultimately have the effect of reducing the amount of new Ethereum coming into the market long term. Okay. And that's partly what you see. This is that whole moving from proof of work to proof of stake in Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0 model. Okay. And so that's what's happening. So this is a good thing. What does that mean? So you're like, okay, what, what does that mean, Austin? It basically means that Ethereum is going to become um, uh, more scarce, if you will, in the future, and the price of Ethereum thus will continue to go up. There are definitely um, a lot of people that are talking about, and I'm following all of them and, and, and looking at and kind of looking, doing my own analysis, the people that say that Ethereum will absolutely hit big numbers five to six maybe even eight nine thousand dollars by the end of 2021 yes you heard me right okay those are not numbers that i'm just pulling out of the air that is uh some pretty valid research that's going in that have that is out there that's been discussed it's been seen things like that also there's a strong strong possibility that ethereum could hit 25 to maybe fifty thousand plus dollars did not did not I did not stumble in that statement by 2023. Can you believe, what do you think? Do you think Ethereum has the strong potential to hit 
$30,000 in 2023. I firmly do, okay? I think that everything that's happening with ETH, uh, with the moving to proof of stake model, with you know Ethereum 2.0 and everything that's coming over with that and and how, you know, and I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's pretty much a done deal. I think it's absolutely a doable scenario. I'm not, I mean, I'm not worried that it won't happen. It's going to continue to go up. And from an investment perspective, that's kind of how I look at Ethereum. I look at Ethereum of, if I put a dollar into it, am I going to get my dollar back plus, right? And so, you know, like right now, if Ethereum goes from 3157, which is currently trading at right now, then if it goes back up to say 6,000, not back up, excuse me, up to 6,000 plus, you've doubled your money. And I think that that's a very strong possibility in five to six months, if or less, by the way. Okay, so we're in August, so so by the, in December, okay, moving into January, um, things like that. I think that that is entirely doable and very realistic. And also, by the way, you can cut my number in half. Let's say it only goes to say four or five thousand. That's still a really nice, fantastic return on your investment. Okay, so that's how I look at it. I look at it very, very black and white. Okay, Ethereum is not going to go away by any shape, form, or fashion. I mean, as we all know, it is the number two, uh, you know, of all the top, you know, of all the top cryptos. It is to me everything, you know, crypto is crypto is built on Ethereum. That's how I look at it. And yes, I know there's Cardano and things like that, and I own Cardano as well. I'm a huge fan of Cardano as well. Okay, that's how I. That's why I love owning Ethereum. I love owning owning Cardano because I love owning really what I think of it. I think of it as I own the. I have a piece of the of the development environment. I have a piece of the environment that those respective uh, massive amount of projects are built upon. Right? It's why I like owning Cardano. I mean, to me, I feel like I own I own the foundation of the house. That's the metaphor I, I, I like to use. So with it, by owning Ethereum or Cardano, I feel like I own the foundation of the house, and then the house is built on top of the foundation. Okay, that's how I. That's why I'm really a huge fan of owning Ethereum and Cardano and things like that. All right. So let's wrap up with this with a few final thoughts. And those th final thoughts are this, is that I think that Ethereum is probably going to continue to trade sideways. You can kind of see it right here. I mean, we've definitely got a little bit of a channel. In fact, it's probably more like right here. So we've dipped a little bit, which is not hugely concerning to me uh, because the overall, and yes, I know those are not touching on it as many. There you go. So, you know, we, we had a nice run up. Now we had, we channeled, we, we broke above resistance. So it looks kind of like our, our current resistance for level right now is 32.76. We've established a decent support level at 31.54 if we can get back up to it. Now we had, like we had a pretty massive sell-off about, what, seven, eight hours ago. This big, big candlestick. So so Ethereum took a hit. Probably some institutional well, well money, definitely a lot moved, hap moved and happened right here. Okay. So my question would be, and I'm going to leave these here. Is this our new support level, that 3148 in change? Um, it, it's trying, you can see right here in this top candlestick, it, this the wick of it, it's trying to get back up and break back up and but you know what which was our old support level, which has now become our resistance, but possibly I don't have enough data right here to kind of tell me what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these here for those for the for us and kind of see when the next Ethereum video how this all looks but here's the really here's the interesting thing i want to leave you with price points to me right now with ethereum they are what they are i'm not worried about them long term because i know long term it's going to go up if if ethereum if eth dips below three thousand i definitely consider it a buying opportunity to add to my positions things like that and it's a strong possibility that it could we could get some pullbacks in bitcoin ethereum in the overall market in the next week or so I would love to be called wrong in this, you know. I would, I mean, because owning all of these, I would love to. I would love to be wrong, right? Then we we go up, okay. But I feel like that's what may what may happen. We've definitely, for the last two or three days, you can see kind of in the well, it's probably a little bit longer. We, we've had, you know, Cardano's been on a massive run because of smart contracts coming, things like that. But you can look at kind of Bitcoin and Ethereum, and you can kind of see that we've really seven day runs. We've definitely cooled off. I mean, when you know, uh, by up to about three or four days ago, you know, two, two or three days ago, two to four days ago, Ethereum and Bitcoin were running at seven day numbers of, you know, 16, 18, 19, 20 plus percent. And Ethereum was outpacing Bitcoin. OK, uh, it's just it's just we're basically taking a breather, which is fine. Right. We're basically kind of just 
okay, let's take a breath, let's re refresh and things like that. Because the thing of it is, Ethereum is going to continue to be a massive, massive play. You got institutional money waiting to come in. There's an Ethereum, there's Ethereum backed ETFs that are moving forward um, to getting approved. By the way, all Bitcoin ETFs have been either shot down or delayed. Interesting little side note there. Ethereum, uh, so could be, uh, you know, and if those ETFs do go into effect, there is, there is, an untold amount of money that's going to flow into Ethereum for, with, with institutional ETFs and things like that. So I think, again, long term, you've got all of the things they're, they're doing to move from proof of work to proof of stake. It's ETH Ethereum 2.0. I can't talk today. Um, all of which adds up for good, good stuff. Thank you for your support of myself, my videos, my channel. I'll see you. Bye.